Good morning. As you can tell, it's early. Been up since six because today we are taking Definitely Not Mechanics on the road. For the first time, we are doing an event outside of the state that we live in. We're going to Oklahoma. It's about a three hour drive to where we're going. We're going to Cam's Acres Race Site, which is a drift complex that is opening today for the first time ever. Fella built a drift track in his backyard. I've got a familiar face with me today. This is Rodney, and you might remember him from the Paris to Italy trip. He's rolling with me. We're going drifting. Oh, this is the wrong video. Perfect. Let's get the show on the road. Yo, what just happened? Uh, just locked the keys in the trunk. Halfway to the track. Oh, don't worry, I got five dollars. He locked the keys in the Lamborghini. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got it. It's unlocked. Oh, thank God. I just touched your peepee. -pee. It's okay. I hated that <laughs> so much. Got it with the fucking tent pole. I forgot that the door's open like this. <laughs> He's like, bro, your fucking door's broke. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Oh, it's not that loose. Nah, it's pretty tight. It's good. You wanna like keep it in your glove box or? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put it back on the car. <laughs> I know someone that can tighten that. That's how you get adjustable Lambo doors. <laughs> so, we came to Oklahoma, we saw Bigfoot, JP locked his keys in his car, had to crawl through his trunk. I mean, things are happening already. Got him though. All that matters is we were successful in retrieving what we needed. Shout out Tony for them excellent pole skills. And Rodney, your emotional support was on point. <laughs> finally made it uh, we've got everything set up as you can see we're out at Cam's Acres Drift Complex very excited to be here um, we actually just fired up the flat top grill that we've got rocking right over here excellent addition to the booth might I add as we're doing this we're learning and that's definitely something that you must have in a situation like this so uh, we made some hot dog tacos and uh, I think we're about to go check out the track get some footage
Okay, Zach, where you at? <laughs> We gotta get off the track. This guy that's done wrecked four times is coming through and we don't want to be involved in any of that. What do you think? It's pretty fucking cool, man. This is your first drift event, right? Yeah, for sure. That's fucking tight. This is a really cool event to go to for your first time because like, they literally just put this track together. Super tight. The Tony hiding over there like a sniper. <laughs> you really think you can take that off right there? From your hand. <laughs> yeah, do it like that. Look at it. He got his license and shit. This is why you get paid the big bucks. I gotta walk my happy ass to the track. He can literally sit right here and go film. <laughs> Yo, the night drifting is super crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. It's just wild, dog. It's so it's dusty nice out here. You can't see anything between the sand that's come from off track onto the track and then the tire smoke. And there's pretty much no wind, but it's a good, nice temperature. And <laughs> we're out here with the 8 p.m. Uh, drifting weather update. Let's see it, Tony. It's fucking dusty out here. Damn, mate, you're scared. <laughs> so earlier I was right over here on this part of the track and I had my light off because uh, a lot of the people were saying, you know, they didn't want to be blinded by the light. So I tried to keep it off and it got really sketchy. So I came back up here where the spectators are just so we could be uh, in a safer environment. Fucking dropping buffaloes. Grinds my gears, I'll tell you what. Yeah, the cars, they smell, they sound like trombones and smell like boner pills. <laughs> you, you know them as 350Zs. <laughs> the bad boy of the drift community. <laughs> they really be out here. They got their jewel pods, the suede steering wheels, and they just go out here and do donuts. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Definitely Not Mechanics. If you saw your car in this video and you want to see some more clips of it, you were out there on Saturday, maybe your car is not in this video. Drop a comment below, put your Instagram handle and what car you were in, and I'll piece together whatever I have and send it over to you, or I'll send you a 
comment back and say, hey, I don't have anything in your car, my bad, I suck. It happens. I wasn't out there a ton for the day because I was still running the booth as well, but I feel like I got some great shots and we had a ton of fun, so hopefully the video kind of conveys that. I wanna say thank you to everybody that came by the booth. Really appreciate anyone that purchased some merch from us and anybody that just stopped to say, hey, I like what you got. If you didn't see your size at the show, you can find it on definitelynotmechanics.com. We've also got some other designs that we don't bring uh, in our inventory, like the seasonal designs. The new spooky stuff is up actually, and those are super cool. I have recently dropped some news on our TikTok and our other social medias that I've quit my job. I put in the resignation, my last day is actually October 15th. I gave him a little bit more than a two weeks because not a total shithead. But I have given up my job to be a full-time shithead. Um, just gonna make YouTube videos and sell merch and do other side jobs and stuff because I'm tired of working for the man. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you like stuff like this or if there's a drift event that you want us to go to. We can definitely make the time now that I don't have a job. Thanks for watching.